What's up, y'all? It's Sunday Swings, episode four. Let's get it. Sunday Swings is easy. We analyze your film and follow the two, two, one format. Two things we like, two areas of improvement, one drill to help you get there. Let's get started. So Sunday, well, well wait a minute, I, I forgot something really important. Before we get started, go ahead and subscribe, like, and comment. It's really important to us as we continue to build and we continue to make success tangible for you and help you reach peaks that you've never been. That helps us, right? That helps us get there. So go ahead and subscribe, comment, like, do all that stuff so we can keep growing. Edgar, thank you so much for sending us the film, man. Super excited to jump in and dive in and talk about it. So let's watch it real quick, and then we'll go through our two, two, one, and then go and then dive in a little further. Love it, man. Right back up the middle. Um, yeah, just love it. Let's watch it. I'm gonna watch it one more time so everybody at home can make sure that they're seeing the whole swing. So let's do this again real quick. Here we go, Linya. Um, so yeah, man, I think there's a lot of really good things. So the first thing that I would say, the two really good things that I see about your swing are you've got juice in your hands and you've got great posture. It's very apparent to me that um, your hands are very good, can do a lot of things, right? Your posture is very good, right, as you land, like right here, like look at this, like spine is, it, spine angle is very similar to the shin angle, love that. Two areas I think that we can improve on are pulling off directionally and then your hands aren't in unison right so so let me and I'll, I'll dive into this a little bit more but as we get right here right I think our hands and our directions a little bit thrown off your hands seem to be in front of your body a little bit so we're gonna jump into more of that uh, as we go then we're gonna do the drill that we're gonna do today is called a connection a back connection drill I'll show you what that means and what that looks like a little bit in a little bit But so let's dive in on these improvement things right here. So Edgar man, I, it looks to me like you Get to the ball really well. I like how strong your lower half is and you do it You do a good job, right? Like I said, there's some juice in there. You have great posture You do a good, a good job with this pretty good job with the center of your body so like watch it, but watch as we get here, right? And as the swing starts and we go, look, look at how much, look how far away your hands are away from your body when you're making contact. Right now, that might, that some of that might have been because he was throwing slower, right? Or he, I guess he was trying to throw a slider or something. I'm not really sure. Um, but <clears throat> so as you're as you're getting to the ball, right? Like your your direction wants to be right. But it looks like that. It looks like that front arm is not doing that much, right? It seems like you're very top hand dominant. Not a bad thing, but we want our hands to work in unison, right? We want we want both appendages, both arms, to be doing their job, right? That front arm pulling to the pitcher, right? Guiding it, destroying it through, right? Kind of kind of does both, right? The top hand holding on and holding the direction right <clears throat> so we need those to work together right now it seems to me like the top hand is working a little bit harder than the bottom hand okay so i think we need what a great way to be able to unify those together is it is is to use our elbows to move the bat towards the pitcher's chin right that will really help us engulf the hitting area and the hitting zone and that's really really what we want to do right there okay so like as opposed to turn and then hands to the ball right if you'll take those elbows and take those elbows straight back up through the path i think that'll help a ton 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 okay so let's look at this drill really quick and i think that'll really help you understand and grasp what i'm talking about right there okay Edgar, here's the drill man so i'm gonna play it real quick let you watch it through a couple times and let's discuss it okay so you can do this with a partner, you can do this with a pole, anything that will just kind of help you feel that. So, right, so watch him as he's going through, right? This is a, he's using his body, right? He's not just using his hands, right? You see this right here, he's driving, he's feeling that going forward, but then also his front arm, watch his front arm finish, right? So his front arm is here, 
right? And it's using as a pivot point to get to the baseball and drive. So you see how that barrel, right? Look at that. So that would be like contact would be back here. He's all the way down through the bat, the end of the bat that, I, that, that I'm holding, right? So that is that being able to get all the way through right there, they're going to have so much more power and so much more jump on your ball, right? You've already got juice in there. And so being able to let that come out more, I think is really, really important. So this is a really, really great way to just kind of like practice direction. Yes, but more importantly, practice feeling like look at all these muscles, look at all the wrinkles throughout his entire upper half, right? And, and just different places. Like there's so many wrinkles that his back muscles are using. Like his, he's using his back muscles, he's using his lats, he's using all those things, right? So like watch as he, as he starts, right, finishing, right? His, he, he gets to the bat right here, but then watch as he, that elbow goes towards the pitcher, right? And then he finished right there. Right, he finished like he, he literally is punching himself in the chin with his bicep. Not trying, right? But that's just what's going on, right? So that, watch how that translates into a swing, right? Same thing, same thing. Okay, so I really think that this will help you be able to use not just your hands actively as you swing, but also like more arm muscles and more back muscles and just more muscle groups in general. So this is a great way to feel this. Like I said, you could do this with a just one of your friends sitting there, hold the bat. Hold it still, right? And then when you have the bat, when you have the bat in your hand, you're out, the other person just needs a little bit of space, right? So they don't get hit in the jaw. And just feel those elbows carrying the barrel back to where the ball is coming from, back towards the pitcher, back through the ball, and just being able to feel multiple muscle groups moving the bat instead of just your hands. And this will really help unify you, right? Because you see, watch this barrel movement. It's very unified. Right, it's very just as one piece. Yours kind of moves a little bit separately, and so I think this will be a real this will be really good for helping unify. So, man, I hope this really helps. Thank you so much for sending yours in there. Please uh, keep us up to date. We would love to stay in contact and keep helping you out, man. So I'm really appreciative. Thank you so much. You're the man. Michael, my man, super excited to jump into this, brother. I know you've been waiting, waiting for this for a little while. Thank you so much for bearing with us, man. You're here now. You get to now you get to to show off your awesome swing, man. Excited to talk about it. So let's play it through a couple times so people can kind of see the swing, um, and then we'll just kind of go over your two two one, and then and then we'll we'll dive in, man. So let's get after it. So here we go. A couple hacks. Brave man hitting on cement. Very brave man. Ball. Some of those balls can come back and nab you. So I'm, I'm glad that, I'm glad that they have it, man. Okay. So like, let's let's talk about this real quick. Um, <clears throat> so man, two things. Your two for your two two one. So the two good things, man. I think you do a great job of entering, entering the hitting area. Do a, a fantastic job of that. Do that pretty consistently. You also the second the second thing is because you do that and you slot well your bat path is very flat and very plain matching for the ball that's coming in. So I think that th those are those are fantastic things, man. You're doing a great job with those two things. Two things where I think you could improve is you've got an unbalanced pelvis and your front knee your front knee is going outside of your front foot. So we're going to jump into that a little bit and, and here just in just a second. Okay, but then the drill that I'm that we're going to go over is the stride down the mound drill. Okay, so that's your two, two, one from right here. So let's talk about the improvements for just a little bit. Okay, so let's play this swing. Okay, play it through. Boom, linea. Okay, low and away. Great job. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm gonna freeze it right here. Okay, so look at look at this look at this posture. Right, I think you're doing a good job. I think you're trying to make sure that you're not stuck on your backside. I think you're trying to make sure that. The bat gets in the zone flat, but now look at the bow in this leg right here, right? Look at the bow here, right? So here's your kneecap, like right here. There's your kneecap. It is outside of your toes, okay? 
So a lot of times when that what happens with that is that will really cause you to be unbalanced and it, it means your your pelvis and your hips are too far forward. So when we get outside of the foot, then we get unbalanced, right? And we just they, a lot of things can happen, but a lot of times what happens is a, a hip glide happens, okay? And so that makes it very hard to stop. It makes it very hard to adjust to things that aren't a fastball and a lot of times too if you'll watch right right here I'll pause it okay if you'll watch people that get in this position so now you're kind of front leg dominant and you're kind of thrown off balance wise so now watch next frame your I bet your leg goes up and your head raises because your hip flexor is going to uncoil and it's going to cause you to raise up raise up okay so that's why it's really our, our leg um, we've got to stay within our knees, right? We've got to stay laterally. I heard Marlon Bird say it. When we have lateral, we can have stretch and we can have extension. If we don't stay lateral, so if we don't stay in between our legs, right? When you're doing, when you're doing shuffles or when you're doing five, 10 fives or anything like that's lateral quickness. When we don't stay laterally, then we lose power. We lose the ground. We lose, we get you kind of see how this, how your, how your, your body is kind of headed towards third base a little bit. So our, our pelvis needs to stay in the middle of our body. It doesn't have to be perfectly balanced, and, and you might be more of a front foot guy, and that's okay, right? But you see how you finish here, and this hip is pointed towards third base dugout. This toe is pointed th th towards third base dugout, right? And it, your pelvis and your hips are pointed that way that's what's happening right so so you're you're ending balance and then all that torque and all that release that's coming is um, pulling you away from the baseball right I think that's why like on this one right I think that's why right I think that's why we had a slight miss right for lots of reasons but we're missing the frame but <clears throat> it's because you're pulling away right so we've got to get it to where that knee so your your movement stays in between your body you see how it's outside right so your glutes aren't engaged really they're the controlling muscles aren't engaged really right here okay so you're here and then now watch the next frame boom so you're outside you're outside your leg right and, and i and i love where your foot is i think you're doing a great job with that right but i think controlling your move with both your glutes will be really 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 important okay so let's watch this drill with the lens that we just talked about, and I think it's really gonna help you. Okay, Michael, here's the drill. Just very, real easy, you can do a bunch of different variations of it, right, okay? An easy way to remember it is just stride down the hill, stride down the mound. You can do this on a hill, right, your driveway, you can do it down a mound, you can do it wherever you have the space to. So the premise is to hold and balance your move as you're moving downward right you can actually do this going up the mound as well right but since you have a problem of this front leg breaking right breaking the the seal i think this one will help you more so as so watch the clip okay there boom okay so watch the square that comes up right see how he's there that is not how yours looks right so what this drill will help you do is as while you're stepping down okay squeeze and hold your chest with your core right so imagine someone is gonna punch you in the chest or punch you in the abs right like someone's boxing and they're punching you in the abs okay so <clears throat> imagine that's going on you're gonna you're gonna flex and hold on to that balance really 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 tightly Okay, so like that's the kind of control that you want to hold with your obliques and your your ab muscles is is that right? So as you move down, okay, right, you're gonna hold and squeeze. Then secondarily, when you start up here, okay, so before you go, feel it in like the bottom parts of your glutes, like you're getting ready to squat. Okay, so like it. And like you're gonna feel it and want to feel it in like this glute, but then also here engaged, right? So I'm gonna start here in this glute in this area, right? And then as I move down, my other glute is gonna catch me, okay? And it's gonna catch. You see that? So he's there. That's a powerful position standing right there, right? And then we go and check and make sure he's in line. Boom! There's the square. There's the square, right? So his center of body is in the center. 
His shoulders are level. His shoulders are in the center, right? And everything is happening laterally in here where he can have extension and he can have release, okay? So let's watch it one more time. And a couple, and you could do too, like if you get to this point and you, you're struggling feeling it a little bit, just squat. Get right here and squat down. Do a little squat. Squat down, squat up. Make sure you stay your squat. Looks like an elevator, right? Going straight up and down. Then as you come back up to this loaded position or where you would normally land, then you swing, right? So he's checking. He's making sure. Say, like, okay, where is my, is my square there? Yep, it's there. Okay, now I'm going to swing, okay? So you can do that. You can do this dry or you can do this, um, like you can do it, you know, do the exercise and then and then and then swing too if you want to. So I would suggest doing some dry reps and then doing it to where there's balls on the tee, right? You could even do them front toss. You could do whatever, like whatever you would kind of want to do with that. But that's what I would do. And then check the square, right? But then don't just check it, but film yourself from the side too, so you can look and you can see. Okay, how is this actually playing out? Okay, so I'm gonna play it one more time for you and everybody else, man. Like, go get this. And, and I'm really excited, and I think, you'll, I think you'll do great with it. Okay, so here it is. Let's do play it back one more time. Okay, hold the square, and go. So, Michael, man, I'm really excited to hear your progress. Thank you so much for following along um, and, and doing that, man. You're doing, you're doing great, and I really think that this drill and, the, and this, this stuff will help you. So, man, you're the man, and let's talk soon. So, that's a wrap on episode four of Sunday Swings. Thanks for watching. Now go do me a favor, subscribe, like, and comment so we can keep growing, keep listening, and keep getting better. And then after you do that, go check out our new series, Hitting Drill of the Week. Bunch of really cool stuff. Really excited about what's going on with that. You won't regret it. See you next week.